Hi guys, Mike Holder here. I'm really excited today to share with you a few of the workouts that I did in preparation for my film, Plane. Over the years, I've played a lot of different roles. Starting back at The Good Wife, where I played Lamont Bishop, my objective was to look good in a suit. But then, the role of Luke Cage from Marvel came along and I had to bulk up 30 pounds. I've always been knowledgeable about fitness. I've always watched my diet and what I've eaten. But then, I had to immediately start to eat more, more protein, more carbs, lift heavier, get more time to recover, and just stay in the gym. So when I was working on the plane, it was easy for me to have access to a cold plunge, a sauna, and a hot tub. Those things were essential in my recovery, game changers. There's a lot more to working out than just working out. It's the recovery, it's the preparation, and those things are essential in making sure you maximize your gains. So today, I wanna to show you a few of the exercises that I used to get ready for my movie, Plane. Let's go. I like to start off with sprints because it gets you warmed up. And if you don't have a lot of time, it's a good way to get the cardio done quickly, and it also keeps your body engaged to use every muscle that you have at your disposal. Deadlifts are something I really don't look forward to, to be honest, but it's one of those things that really get the job done. You cannot half-ass it. You have to focus and you have to have the proper form. You really wanna pull from your legs. A lot of people like to pull from their back and that's where the injuries happen. If your back's not in proper form and you're pulling with your lats, there's gonna be a whole lot of problems. And if you don't know proper form, make sure you do research before you do them. If you're really in a pinch and you're serious about getting size and adding mass, deadlifts are the way to go. When I got the role in playing, I realized when I went to costumes that they would put me in a tank top. My guns would be on display. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you get some chiseled shoulders. Face pulls are great for that because it hits the muscle behind your shoulder, which a lot of people do not do. Face pulls, if you do them correctly, they will add definition to the back of your shoulder, which will then balance out your entire shoulder, giving you that chiseled look in the shoulder area that you really want, especially when you're wearing a tank top. Now pull-ups, there's so many ways to do pull-ups. There's wide grip, close grip, underhand, overhand. I like to concentrate on close grip, new wide grip that adds stress to your lats. Either way, it's better to mix it up so you can have a balance. But pull-ups are another massive game changer when it comes to adding size and definition. Some people can do a lot, some people can just do a few, but either way, add that to your workout and I promise you, it'll be a staple from here on out. For the last exercise, I really like doing bench press with dumbbells on the physio ball. Anytime you use a dumbbell, you can't cheat. You can do single presses, you can do double presses, or you can alternate. Dumbbells on the physio ball also demands a lot of stress in your core and the entire time your core is engaged. Keeping your balance and getting the press in proper form is really hard. So if you've been doing bench presses for a very long time, you might wanna try this because this is also something that's going to change the way your muscles respond and I like the results. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm a little tired, but it was all worth it. I'm glad you guys joined me to see how I got ready for my movie, Plane to Health and Prosperity. Thank you.